Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to outline lettering in Canva. And so you see here this little outline around the CEO text is a perfect example of how to do that. Now I'm assuming some of you already know how to do this, but we're also going to go over this on how to outline images as well. So if you're a print-on-demand designer and you like to create t-shirt designs and clothing lines and things like that, this could be a beneficial tool that you're going to use for your future designs. And to put things into consideration, I actually have two images here of these two different pieces of clothing that I created, and I'll just go ahead and show you them here. Uh, you could see here, this is the first example um, where it does not have any outline around the text on the back where it says CEO uh, with the commas and the, and the O's, and then this is an example with the outline. You could see the difference there. And I think overall, just sometimes the lettering and the outline makes it a little bit more visible in certain conditions. Uh, the person who brought up this concept of the video uh, was somebody who asked about my thumbnails in my other channel. So if you're familiar with my other channel, I do have outline around the lettering of pretty much every thumbnail. If you look at the thumbnails here, um, you could see here where it says $6,000 blog or my first niche site. There's a little outline around everything. And like I said, all it does for me is it makes things just a little bit more visible for the, the reader. And you could see the difference here. Like, for example, this video thumbnail and this video thumbnail, uh, you could see the difference, right? Here it says boost blog traffic, and then here it has this outline around it. And uh, I should probably remake this thumbnail just so that it's a little bit more visible, but you kind of get a good glimpse of the difference. Now... This is a skill that you could use for not just thumbnails, but actual designing. So let's get into it right now. So it's super, super simple. I use Canva to do this. In fact, I use Canva pretty much for, I would say, about a good 70% of my designing. I also use Kittle, but I use Canva as well. Um, and I'll just kind of put things into perspective here. So uh, here is an example. So when you write your text, first thing is you want to go ahead and grab your text. Okay, write whatever you want. And then what you're going to go to is you're going to go to the effects button. All right, the effects button, there's a section here called outline. When you click on the outline, you can select the color that you want. So let's say you want this blue. And then finally, you select your thickness. And I'll say that it does look better in certain circumstances, depending on the font that you're using. So here, for example, uh, this is a font called Rhino's Rocks. Okay, this is another font called Canva Sans. So there's different kinds of fonts that might look a little bit better. Like I think with this font, it has like this almost like a graffiti kind of look to it. And like I said, that's why I used it for uh, this fo uh, piece in my clothing line here. And I think it looks overall really, really good. And it's something that I'm proud to advertise on Google and, and you know, charge a premium for it. So I think that's really what helps. So all you have to do, like I said, is click on this outline button, go to thickness, and kind of control how thick you want it to be. So for example here, if we go to this CEO text here, I can make it super, super thick, or I can make it really kind of thin, something like this. And I had it like somewhere, I think somewhere at about like 65 is where I had it. I'm not sure where it was before, but something like that looks pretty decent. And it's not that, you know, thicker outlines make better looks or thinner outlines make better looks. It just solely depends on what you believe and how you want to design. Um, I'm also going to show you real quick how to do this with an image. So here I wanted to zoom out and show you guys an image. And I think this would make overall like a good design. So I have this symbol of a stallion that I created here. This is actually the, I believe the Ferrari symbol. And I just overlaid it with uh, an image. I have this guide in my um, image blender uh, mini course. So if you're familiar with autopilotpassiveincome.com, let me go ahead and just take you guys there. This is my personal website. You guys can check out some of the products and stuff we have there. Um, one of the guides that I have here is the blend designs mini course. So I basically teach how to create a blank black image like this and then put a design on it, make it look like that. This is another example here, um, of how to do this. Now I do do this without Canva. So this is a little FYI. That's why I put it behind a mini course, but regardless, um, so I did that exactly with this photo. Now, if I wanted to keep up the vibe here, I would go over here and, uh, let, like, let's say... I want to keep uh, the outline a 
purplish blue color. I just tried the purple. I don't think it looks that good, to be 100% honest with you. I could try it with like a, a purple inside color and then an outline of like blue. We can test that out right now. So all I have to do is go to effects once again, click on this and then find the blue that I like. So something like that. And I can make that work. Uh, that can potentially work. I actually like white. I think it just pops a little more. So I'm going with white in and then either a blue out as an outline or a purple out. So uh, something like like this, for example, which I think looks, you know, pretty decent. But what if I want to do the same thing with the image? Well, I can absolutely do that. I'm going to go over here to image and then I'm going to go to shadows. OK, and I'm going to click glow. All right. And just give it a second. Sometimes, you know, Canva has to work its magic to make this happen. And then I'm going to go here and click on the settings on glow. OK, and then I'm going to click the color that I want it to glow in. So in my case, I'm going to make it match the purple color that I let the text glow in. So something like this. And then what I'm going to do is play around with the transparency and the size. So I'm just going to make the size a lot bigger, make the blur. I'll edit the blur. So this is the maximum blur here and this is the least blur and you could see here it does have a little bit of a difference and what I could do is play around with the transparency so this is extremely transparent and then to the right here is less and less transparent okay and we can increase like I said the size of the uh, the outline and there you go so it's outlined a little bit different and I could hit apply and then what I could do if, if I really want to get fancy here for my future clothing line or something like that I can grab an image like this uh, kind of like this blue style camo and I can slap it on the back right there and then select the position go to the back right and I know I have my image here it should be you know able to pop up Canva's a little bit slow sometimes so it's no big deal um, but there you go and I think honestly that does look pretty cool and it outlined a little bit better um, if I really wanted to play around with it a little more I can go with a black colored outline I can go with a blue colored outline uh, but overall I think it's pretty cool because it's almost hard to look at. It's hard to tell where the image actually is, but it almost like blends in with the whole uh, composition in a way. But this is overall, uh, I think, a good lesson, a very, very basic beginner's lesson that really does amplify your designs and the quality of your designs and the way they look. And I don't think you guys can negate this idea here. Like I said, um, I do think, and I'll just go ahead and increase, I do think that this hoodie set looks better than this one, uh, just because of that outline. It really gives it a, a nice little uh, push uh, into the design. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below, but I do think it looks a little bit better, right? And, and that's the difference right there. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this video helped you out, gave you some inspiration, motivation, education, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.